Uh, Mrs. McCain, thank you so much uh, for your work with the Institute and, and for coming here, talking to us. So I'm going to shoot straight. Uh, the perception of a lot of, between a lot of young people is that there is an untouchable ring of governmental and economic elites in this country um, that not only benefit, like she mentioned, but actively participate in sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. um, Jeffrey Epstein was an example. Uh, Robert Kraft was arrested not far from here on, on, on trafficking charges. And, and so we, um, in terms of this as a grassroots movement, to push to combat against this issue. Um, are, are these power players a priority for us right now? Can we even touch them? Or is this a pipe dream that we need to address in the future somehow? You know, it's like everything. Um, you know, we, we, it hides in plain sight. Epstein was hiding in plain sight. We all knew about him. We all knew what he was doing. But we had no one that was, you know, um, uh, legal aspect that would go after him. They were afraid of him. For whatever reason, they were afraid of him. All of a sudden, someone said, BS, we're not afraid of you anymore and what you're doing is not only wrong, it's illegal, it's, you know, all those things. Um, it's, it's like a house of cards now. It's going to start tumbling, believe me. And these guys, if they don't leave the country, number one, uh, they're going to get caught. And, they're gonna, and, and they, not only will they get caught, but they're going to be made examples of. And that's exactly what we should be doing. Uh, with these guys, especially, um, in my opinion, if you know, I know there's questions, but uh, Epstein's a chicken shit for doing what he did. <laughs> he should have faced the music. That one, he should have. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry.